Hello, this is Valerie from My Scrap Chick, and we're putting together the new Scarecrow popcorn wrap. And I, I'm just going to say, please excuse my voice. I've had a paralyzed vocal cord since February, and so it's going to sound funky. If it bothers you, just go ahead and turn the sound off. I won't be offended. So anyway, we're going to start with the covers for these. take all the pieces off here and so the first thing I'm going to do is go through and fold along all the score lines this is the back cover so the fold on that is going to come forward and here is the front cover and this seam will go backward and then the pockets, we're just going to go through and fold these. And that's for the pocket. So, we'll start. The first thing we're going to do is glue this piece to the front cover. And I'm going to line it up along the top of the, the uh, cover. When I do that, it is going to leave a bit of a border down here. And I want to try and get that border even. There we go. And then we're going to put on the binding that goes along here. And try to line that up evenly so there's an even spacing with all the black edges. And then next we'll work on adding the pumpkin. And the first thing I'm going to add is his shirt. I'm using a blue plaid here. This is a good time to be pulling out those plaid papers and using them on the scarecrow. And just line it right up. I like to use my squeegee to squeegee all that down. And then I'll put on the front of where his buttons are going to go. So there's a slight dip on here, and that's going to go right along the top there, and then kind of push that up a little bit there. And then next, I'm going to add the brim of his hat. And then the hat band. And you can see where that lines up right there. And so next comes the backing for the scarecrow's hair. that there and the next thing I'm going to add is the backing for the scarecrow's face and that's makes it so that you can see his smile and his eyes but I have found it's easier to go ahead and put this black black backing on first and that way I can put it on 
here and make sure that I don't get it into the eyes and the mouth area. And then we'll just add it right there. Now we line it up on his face. Next, I'm going to add his scarf, his neck scarf. This tie is going to hang over the edge a little bit, so I'm going to try not to get glue on there. And again, I'm not going to make sure I don't have glue on that tip there. Then I add the second piece, and it just kind of lays over there. Keeping the knot, lining the knot up is how I decide where it goes. And then the top layer, the top knot, lines up there. And next, I'm going to add the buttons on the front of his shirt. It's got to stay buttoned up here. Oh, you know what? I put glue on the shaded side. Nope, no I didn't. I just did both. There we go. And then I'll add the buttons. Yeah, so we get that lined up so that you can see the little buttonholes there. And next we'll add the hearts for his cheeks. When you're doing the face, you might want to go in and add a little bit of blush with some chalk or ink. Just gives a little bit of character to the guy. And those two little heart cheeks go right at the top of his smile. And then we're going to add his nose. And I put some in the pattern. I don't know if you can see it on here. I added some dash lines so you can see where his nose goes. There. And if you want to add a little bit of character, you can take a gel pen and add a couple of dots to his eyes. And I also think it's fun to take a black pen And just give him a few little, a few little eyelashes. He doesn't need a whole lot, just like two or three, maybe a couple eyebrows. Alrighty, and now we're going to do the inside cover. This is going to be seen when you open the popcorn box and so I don't put one on the very back of it you can if you want just cut an extra yeah 
I'm, I'm not lining that up very good. There. And then we'll add the binding. That'll go on the inside right here. And what that does is then when we want to put this together, we're going to fold that over. This is going to be attached to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this up. Add the glue to the binding on that side. Then when I add the binding from this, from the back cover, I can butt it right up to that edge right there. There. So now we're going to add the little sunflower to his hat. And on these, there's three pieces. So I'm just going to add glue to the center. And just put it on here. Then add the little circle. Now I'll glue it to his hat. And I think right about there. There. Okay, the next thing we're going to work on is the pocket. And this is where we're going to slide in the popcorn wrap. So the first thing I'll do is these black accent pieces. pocket front and you can see we're leaving a slight border so you can see the brown framing the black there And now on this one, I've used orange paper that's going to coordinate with the belly band. But you can also add some printed paper if you like, if you want to add some Halloween paper, sunflowers, whatever you like. Okay. Now we're ready to assemble this part. And what I'm going to do is fold these tabs in. This is going to go like that. But the first thing I'm going to do is glue these two tabs. And that just glues to the bottom of the pocket. You can see there. Yeah, you might need to hold it a little longer to make the glue dry. Okay, and then we're going to fold these down and this up and we're going to add 
glue right here to hold this. Make sure this is pushed in a little bit so that it doesn't end up fanning out. Now we're going to add this right here. And what I want to do is I'm going to line it right up along the bottom and the outside edge. And then I'm going to take a ruler that I'm going to slip on the inside to push it down until it's firmly in place. So you can see right along here and here. And then take my ruler or some flat object and just go through and press down. I also discovered in the store last time that Orville Redenbacher has these mini bags. They're about half the amount of popcorn as some of these others. So you get a little more popcorn or, yeah, you know, more packages. But we slide that in and we're going to fold that closed and then we're going to make the belly band for the front. And here's the pieces for the belly band. Now every single pattern is going to come with a few options for printables that you can add to the front. I'm going to use Pop and Buy to wish you a happy fall. And so I'm going to glue that right on here first. You'll also get a blank one if you have a particular stamp that you want to use or you want to use your own wording. Okay, and we'll set that aside for a minute. Now, I'm going to pull these off. Here's the base of the belly band, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put glue along the back here. and then attach it to this. There we go. Now, here's the popcorn box. This is the back layer for it. And here's the striping, and that's going to line up right along here. And then there's two little bumps right there and there. And we have the base for the box. This is the backing for the popcorn itself. It's going to be a darker brown. And I'm going to line that up with the edges up here and then squeegee it down. Now here's the pieces on the popcorn. There's two layers that are going to go here and here. So I'm going to put, the, I think I'm going to put the top one on first. Line that up there and then add the second line. And 
There we go. <laughs> so now I can add some dimension and it, by adding these three pieces this one is going to go up here there's another piece just like it but it's a little smaller and it's going to go down there And then I have this third piece that I like to put right here on this one. Okay. So let's add the greeting on the front. You could add pop dots if you want to pop it off a little bit. Heck, I think I will. Oops. Get that back in off there. And then just pop it on there, right side up. Poppin' by to wish you a happy fall. And once I have it on there, I'm going to wrap up this and attach the belly band before I add the hands. Because when I do, I want to make sure that the hands, that this is centered and the hands are going to have plenty of room. So, like I said, I'm going to do this first, line it up, center it. And then I'm going to push this to the back and the same here, gently fold it. I don't put a hard crease because I want the belly band to easily slide. So I'm going to put glue on this side and then glue on this side. And then when I join it together, I don't have glue going all over the place, but it seals it sh shut fairly well. And you can see now this is going to have to be slid off on the bottom because otherwise you're going to bump into the scarf. But now that it's on there, we're going to add the hands. And I'm going to stay away from this outside piece here, so I'm just going to add it to the fingers and the thumb because I'm not quite sure how that's going to fit. So we'll add the hand there and the same on this side. There you go. And now we're all ready, and it's ready to give the Scarecrow Popcorn Wrap. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.